False bravado gets you most of the way and stupidity gets you the rest. Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Despite my usual rigor, oh my God, it's pointed right at me. I left this in the vise, it bled down a little bit. Uh, it occurs to me that there might be a, a, well, there is a spiral leakage path right through the threads. Uh, if, you want to, if you want it to not leak at all, uh, you could probably just grab some random industrial schmoo and jam it in there, some sort of thick grease or whatever you find on the ground. <laughs> and that would eliminate that spiral leakage path and then you wouldn't get any leaks. Blank asked me, well actually he said, but what if you don't have a bolt? What do you do then? So, uh, <laughs> actually he didn't quite ask it like that, but that's what he meant. Uh, so I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you how to do it without a file, just with what you got in the field. And it's way more hokier, but uh, it, possibly again could get you out of a dilly of a pickle. However, that brings us to the slight problem of buggering up the threads once again. I figure I already showed you how a Dutch farm boy would do it. Why not take this to its extreme progression and pressurize it hydraulically, see if we can't get that bolt to pop right out. As you can see, I've taken the Liberté to change this around from hair to hydraulic. Let's have a look at that gauge. Goes to 3,000 PSI. Because what's the point of surviving a misspent youth if you can't have a few laughs at your own shop? While we're waiting for the compressor to build air, it occurred to me that some of you might not be familiar with this little pump. This is a hydraulic pump rated for 10,000 PSI. 10,000. Uses compressed air to pump hydraulic fluid into whatever implement you want, such as this porta power cylinder. That's a 10,000 psi porta power cylinder. Pulse for bravado gets you most of the way and stupidity gets you the rest. Dun, dun, dun. Well, that's sketchy. Why you no move? Okay, I didn't see what pressure that went up to on account of being behind the blast shield because mama didn't raise no chicken or a fool. I, I thought I discerned the sound of a little leaky. So we got zero pressure on the gauge there. Ah, I'm feeling the line, yeah. Very confident that there's no pressure in there. Of course, uh, hydraulic injection is, it ain't no joke. We'll just check to see, yeah. Dry as a popcorn fart. Well, I'd appreciate a ruling. I would say that's official. Pretty fucking skookum for something so hokey. We'll take her apart and have a look. You see that homemade gasket? Got quite the crush to her. Have a look at that. Yoo-hoo. There you go. So that's uh, definitely a one-time use gasket, but what the hell, it's a piece of wire. You know what I'm saying? This makes perfect sense that this would seal, I mean, not a problem because Air is a lot more fluid, less viscous than the oil. And the leakage path, of course, is helical, yada, yada, yada. Further, I mean, 10,000 PSI sounds like a lot. But you look at the diameter of that bolt, that's the effective hydraulic area. So quarter inch pi r squared. You're looking at, uh, what, uh, point, uh, like tw 200, yeah, a quarter inch 
a square area times 10,000, you know, 2,500 pounds. Well, the clamping load of a grade eight half inch bolt is 10,000 pounds over that. So, well, 12, no, it's 12,000 pounds. Well, I hope you appreciate me taking this to the nth degree with my usual rigor. I appreciate you coming along. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep your stick on the ice.